I subscribe your channel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another how to review video. In today's video, I'm going to have a how to review on Volco Melbourne in Australia. Before we get started, uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already. Every Friday, I'll be uploading one how to review video to my channel. If you are interested in this topic, you shouldn't miss my channel. Before we move on to the actual room too, I'd like to give you guys a quick summary on the highlights, lowlights, and the membership benefits for staying at this hotel. Talking about highlights, the hotel has a very good location with a very reasonable price. It's located in the Melbourne city center. The price is quite affordable compared to its luxury and uh, its location. So talking about low lights, I think the only thing I really wanted to mention is about the hotel lifts. You will see in my video later on and uh, it's such a pain to use that lift. Even though it's like well instructed because of the system, the software, it's so hard to use that. Probably they need to upgrade their system and to uh, make the lifts user friendly because when it's based it's gonna be a disaster. Talking about membership benefits, as a um, IHG Platinum member, our room has been upgraded to a premium room. Sorry. <laughs> we have received complimentary water and complimentary breakfast buffet. I hope you enjoy this video and now let's get into the room too. Once you're in your designated left, hold your key card on the card reader for three to five seconds until the floor button stays on. Now come in. So just gonna try it again. It says I. It's coming. It's like a miracle. What I'm gonna do? Just yeah. It's going down. It pops out. It says going down. Two thousand years later. It's not working at all. Yeah. We've just so been through this. You have to. Get out of the lift. Start there, but don't scan. So you push your floor, floor and then it comes down and you get in. And then we've just this been through this. Uh, it's a very funny experience. So this is our room. Um, hopefully this is going to be easy. So just let me. Start our room too. I really, really love the reception area. It looks so fancy and love the design so much. Walking into this room on the left side, uh, this is a bathroom. Just come over. The amenities are from the New Zealand brand Anti Pose. Yeah, it's very tiny, but um, I love the design. It looks beautiful. It reminds me of the Double Tree by Hilton in Roma. So come on in. We got this um, toilet right here, and wow, even in this bathroom in this toilet we can have a view here then we've got a uh, closet right here we've got uh, basically all those essential equipment here on my right side this is a separate shower room we've got a ring shower head flexible shower head and all those amenities are from antipose we've got uh, another washing basin settings charging sockets right here another two bottles of um, Antipose amenity and this floor to ceiling window really give us a very good view of the city center. Mini bar setting is like pretty small. Got some glasses over the top. We got some tea bags from Tea Drop, drinking chocolate, and uh, coffee capsules here. Got two coffee mugs. Then down here, got a, a mini fridge with two milk. Then comes to our bedroom. Got a USB charging outlet and two charging sockets here. We've got a Samsung flat screen TV and it is really close to the bed, as you can tell. Those drawers are all empty. We just went to the uh, QV shopping mall. We went to the BWS to buy the Melbourne's local beer. Even though BWS is not as big as Tam Murphy, but it still has a lot of options. So if you come to Melbourne or you come to Australia, you want to try the local beers, you can always visit BWS or Dan Murphy. Dan Murphy is their first option. So if Dan Murphy is closed, so you can definitely go to BWS to buy the local beer. Cheers! 
morning. I'm gonna quickly show you guys the uh, street view. If there is as a floor to ceiling window, but it's not electrical. So we're gonna open this one. The window is a bit dirty. Still very quiet in the morning, Saturday morning. 